Welcome to Zach and Fabi. Today we're going to be doing a very, very easy experiment. Wait. Like the last one. With salt, salt, bowls, bowls water, and a nice cube. A nice and cube. Yeah, we're going to be fishing. You're going to go ice cube fishing. Yay! What's up? We have a bowl full of ice and water. Mm -hmm. What happens when you put a string in there? And then get it out. Nothing. Nothing happens, okay? So now put the string in there on ice. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna sprinkle some salt on it. All right, you do the same thing, Eli. All right, put it on ice. Ice. And now sprinkle some salt on it. Can I try? Absolutely. And we might use some food coloring just so it's easier to see. Go ahead. So now that we have a salt on it, we're gonna leave it there for about one minute and we're gonna put a little bit of food coloring on it just so you can see. Go ahead, boys. And meanwhile, if we get a million likes, we'll do it in the pool. <laughs> okay, come on, put some food coloring on. They do now. Yeah, like right now. We promise. All right, that's enough. Good job. Whoa! Why did I put it? Why did I accidentally get two? All right, so. I did a big what happens when you get the string out right now? What? Ah! All <laughs> right! Bye. Whoa, almost, you fished some ice cubes! Almost all of them! <laughs> That's awesome! I have a lot! Yeah? Could you like do that? What? Wow! And do you guys know why it happened? Why? Zach, do you know why? Because mm, it's, it's like steam. Yeah, it sticks to it. So salt sticks to it. So salt water freezes at a lower temperature than pure water. Adding the salt makes some ice melt and then absorb the heat in the process. So the area just around it, it, it cools and it freezes water molecules to the ice cube. Also freezing on the string. Yay, got some ice cubes. I'm fishing for ice cubes. I'm fishing for ice cubes. Look how many I got. That's all for today. That's all for today. Maybe you guys will do it in the pool. You do it in the pool.